everyone. I want to make some milk tea. I look super crazy. I've been like living in this sweatshirt for like forever. When I got home from work, I wanted popcorn again, so I made some popcorn. I ended up like freezing my bread um, because it wasn't going to use it all, and they gave me bread that was like really close to as the expiration date. Sorry. So I ended up like freezing half of the loaf. But now I think I want to have a sandwich for dinner. So I'm going to take out two slices of bread. And I put it in this bag so I could just rock some stuff closer. I have to clear off my counter and put away some things buy some things just like my popcorn maker i just like to wipe it down what i have to do like lately is put like water in here and like let it sit overnight or sometimes i had to let it sit for like 24 whole 24 hours before the chlorine smell got out of it um i have some dechlorinator uh, for my fish tank when I need to top up the water or do like water changes but like for my plants my house plants sorry um yeah I, I, just, I just don't want them to die so I don't want to risk it so I always make sure the chlorine gets out of the water that I water my little garden with I swear like I don't know this always happens but like I could be like no one's no one's talking to me all day no one's calling me no one's anything like that as soon as I start a video that's when everybody wants to call me uh, the struggles I just went through I was just trying to clean um I don't know if you can see it but this is the base of my toaster oven and I didn't know that the stain happened in my toaster oven because I typically keep it like pretty pretty clean um but like the glass have some like sticky stuff on it and like long story short super hard to get it off i like went through a magic eraser and it like shredded it i feel like i swear like everyone is calling me everyone is calling me i don't feel like talking to people like i feel like I feel like talking to you guys, but I don't feel like talking to people, if that makes sense. Not in like a mean way, but it's kind of like a, I'm exhausted type of way. I don't know if you guys are like this, but like when you have like a clean house, or like your, you know, like your dishes is done, your floors are mop and swept, did you get like a different kind of rest? Like when you go to sleep? Like it's like a, I don't know. With me, it's like that. I'm gonna cut off my. All right, I put the kettle on, but I just cut it off to talk to you guys because you're pretty close to the kettle, and like I don't want it to be like all in your ears. Um, but this is the cord to my dehydrator, and I was kind of like rusting, like corroded, kind of not corroded, but like super rusted. So what I'm trying to do is let's clean it off with one of these Clorox wipes. And I'm gonna try to plug it in and see if it works. Because I have this apple, you guys, that this apple that I've had for a while, and I use up all my dehydrated apples that I made last time. So I'm trying to, like, you know, dehydrate them because, like, I want some apple cider, you know? Um,. Because, like, you know, it's getting colder outside. Like, how awesome would it is? How awesome would it be to have apple cider with, like, a dehydrated apple slice as a garnish on it? Only for aesthetic. It doesn't bring any flavor to it. Should I try it in my kitchen? I'm trying it in my kitchen. If I get electrocuted. Oh, seems pretty good pretty good i didn't rinse it off with water i just wiped it with a clorox wipe oh, i was 
like super afraid that I was going to have to buy another dehydrator. And I have the Excalibur dehydrator. And it's my favorite dehydrator, you guys. Like, this is my dream dehydrator. Like, unless something else came out, Excalibur is, like, the best. Because, like, normally with, like, other dehydrators, they come in, like, a tray. Yeah, it's cool to, like, you know, um, you can make beef jerky with it still. You can still dehydrate fruits and vegetables and things like that. But I typically use my dehydrator. And I need, like, more than just this much of space. Because I like to make, um cured eggs salted eggs i like to dehydrate like bigger pieces of like fruit or like busy bigger pieces of like you know like things like that like like if i want to dehydrate an apricot right i can't do it in the other dehydrator without cutting it in half um but with the excalibur i can just put the whole fruit well deseeded fruit like inside a dehydrator and like you know have it go and this is the cheapest, um, I'm just trying to wipe it down while I talk to you guys. This is the cheapest of the Excalibur. This is the four drawer one. And it's the cheapest one, but it's the one that I can afford. And the four drawer one is not, like, typically the best. Uh, and I got an old school one at that. It's typically not the best, um, dehydrator you can get. Sorry. This vlog is going to be me out of frame, me out of focus for a while. Shoot my little clean. My dehydrator out. Let's get the wash seat out. You know what? I'm actually going to have to just wash. I just have to wash the uh, trays real quick. And I'm going to bring you guys back <laughs> when I finish cleaning everything. This is the last one. I don't really mind if they're wet because obviously I'm putting it inside of a dehydrator. So them being wet isn't <laughs> really a problem. It's like a dream of mine to get like the like top tier of the Excalibur dehydrator. So right now I don't need it because obviously I'm a single person. Like, why am I dehydrating like in that like quantity anyway? Okay, so I think I'm gonna have it on my stove. Or actually, I think I should put it over there. I have to move my wine, which I still wanna drink. Oh, and this is the um, the sparkling seltzer water that I got before. This one is lemon mint. Test it again. It's gonna leave it on for right now. You know what? All that washing, I did not wash the top. I mean the lid. I am so upset, you guys. All right, so you, um, I don't know, like months ago, I want to say, I made um some like salted eggs some cured eggs and I use this and you know I use it within about like two weeks um but sometimes I can use it like a month later so I thought I used all of this cured eggs and when I was dumping out the salt because for some reason in my head I was like oh I'm just gonna reuse the salt I never reuse the salt but I always feel like I am going to do it Anyway, so now I was dumping out the salt. I found a half of a piece in here. And it was like, um, I was making, um, like, Alfredo. Like, uh, like chicken Alfredo. Was I making chicken Alfredo? Yeah, I was making chicken Alfredo. But I was making, um, I was using the chicken that I used to make chicken broth. So, like, boiled chicken. Just imagine, like, a boiled chicken shredded. Like, flavorless. Like, you know, just imagine that. But I hate wasting things, so I usually turn that chicken into like a casserole. But I was trying to make like something more fun, so I was making um, chicken alfredo, and and um, I was like, oh, I should add one of these cured eggs in it. And guess what? I was like, oh, I don't have any cured eggs. 
and I had a half of one. So I'm like really upset with myself right now. It's really silly to be upset for this, but I am. I'm really upset with myself right now, you guys. Okay, so this, this I will say this egg. This apple is being cut up and is being dehydrated. Final, this is what's gonna happen. But first I need to make a, like a lemon water solution. Um, so they won't turn like brown, you know? I'm gonna try it with the true lemon and the true orange. Can you imagine that extra, give it that extra bit of flavor? I just realized I have my phone flipped the other way. Hopefully it is a little bit better. Um, I don't know if it's like portrait mode or like landscape, but I'm pretty sure I just filmed everything in portrait mode. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to fix that. <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is cut up the apple that I had bought like I want to say <laughs> like over a week ago um I just I'm afraid that like once I cut open it it's gonna be all brown and stuff So this is a uh, sparkling water, strawberry flavored. Kind of excited about trying that. Some sweetened condensed milk. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's giving me 50 cent soda vibes, but what if it's really yummy? I hate the pop top, like I hate the way it feels on my nails. Well, just give George. Sorry, George. Right. Ooh, it smells really nice. Alrighty, it's time to try it. I think it will be better if it was warm. I mean, if it wasn't warm. <laughs> I think it will be better if it was cold, but it's not very, like, sparkly. Oh, it's sparkling water. Oh, okay. It's not like seltzer water. It's sparkling water. So that's why it's not as carbonated. Uh, whoever, whoever, like, invented the sweet condensed milk was onto something. I'm pretty sure I put way too much condensed milk in it, but yeah, YOLO. All right, here is my first milk tea. Like, remember when I was like, I got in a countdown to Christmas, like, like activity board, not activity, did I say activity board? I don't know what you'll classify it as. Oh, it's called the, the Wooden Advent Calendar. Mm, so good. But if I have this out, I'm going to want to open it and play around with it. But I got this in preparation for Christmas. I didn't show you guys the back. No, I'm not going to show you guys it fully until December. So I'm going to put this where I put the Advent Calendar. <laughs> I'm rambling you guys. I'm sorry. So that being said, I'm gonna end today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it You will see me tomorrow at 2 p.m. When I post another video and I will see you guys in the comments below Later you guys